The crews initially showed up. We had a small house fully involved. Flames flowing out of the roof of a home on Linwood Street in Abington. And I just looked out the window and my bathroom window there and I could just see the whole house was just engulfed. Firefighters say they found a man who escaped the blaze on his own and rushed him to the hospital. Later in the morning, a grim discovery. And we can confirm that there was a female fatality that was removed from the building as well. The fire marshal's office identifying the victim as 45-year-old Susan Borman. I just wonder what happened. Looks like a really old house. I wonder if it was some kind of bad wiring or something. And I also wonder if they had smoke alarms that were working. Officials say the fire was sparked by an electrical event in the living room. And while many in this neighborhood did not know the victims, the scene is still devastating. You know, hopefully we can come together and help this family out, whatever they need. I don't, I didn't know the family personally, um, but whatever they need, I'm sure this town will come together and help them out. It's very sad to put it that way, you know, but hopefully if the person, you know, demise, they, you know, they were suffering. You know, it's just sad. It's totally sad. Now, back here live in Abington, you can obviously see the house is all boarded up as the fire is out. Now, the fire chief did not specify exactly what that electrical event was, but generally, as a reminder to residents here, he's urging folks not to use power strips for an extended period of time and don't run extension cords under anything like rugs or couches. 